evening. So at the bus, uh, Tilan Tushare joked uh, that uh, he wished a bomb would go off so they could all leave Lahu and go back home. Uh, we all know that home is one of the safest place uh, for, for all. And uh, the bomb blast is a dangerous and a dangerous weapon for the attack. Um, as we all know, Pakistan is um, very, very familiar for uh, terrorist, terrorist attack. Uh, it happened here. Uh, Tilan did not, uh, Tilan only jogged, uh, Tilan only jogged for his friends, but it happened really. It, it is called as, um, it is called as foreshadowing. We can uh, consider it as two, uh, as two messages. Uh, one is the, one is the accidental utterance. Oh, uh, he could, um, he could realize the danger before that attack. Uh, before that attack, uh, not 30 seconds passed, uh, they heard sound like firecrackers. Here he used similes. Uh, it means um, compare two things with the word like and as. Uh, here we don't know the uh, sound of the attack, but we know the sound of the firecrackers. So we can compare them to, um, so we can compare them. Uh, and uh, the attack was like rain, uh, rain on the tin roof. Um, it means the rain is compared to the bullets and the tin roof is, is meaning the, is mean the bus. It is not a. It is not a thing that they expected, so they felt very uh, sad to sad to experience that. Um, uh, Sankara said, "As I turn my head, I look at uh, look at Tilan. I feel something whiz past my ears, and bullet starts my starts into the side of the seat. The exact." Spot where my head had been a few seconds earlier. Uh, if if he didn't turn to uh, look at Tilan, Tilan uh, he would have attacked by the bullet. So it is a narrow escape by him. Uh, Mehela had been hit in his chin. Tilan had been hit in his thigh, and Taranga had had been hit in his chest. Um, when uh, he looked at Tarang, Taranga Parama Vidana, uh, he said that, oh my, oh my God, you were out of first ball, run out the next innings and now you have been shot. Um, it shows uh, how he loved cricket, uh, cricket as most, as um, how, he, how he loved cricket a most uh, uh, at the time he realized that uh, what the Sri Lankan experience every day for nearly 30 years uh, and he he worried about the incident uh, that Sri Lankan had have had uh, then they all felt that they all are Sri Lankan. And uh, when, after, when after a week, um, all the players came to Colombo from Pakistan, a soldier politely inquired um, him about his health condition. Uh, his, he said, it's okay if I die because it's my job. And I'm already I am ready for it, but you are a hero. If you were die, it's it would be a great loss for our country. 
Kumar Sangakara thought how this man can value this uh, his life than mine. Uh, the 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 players and the uh, as a player and uh, and as a Sri Lankan, uh, they have patriotism and uh, as they are the ambassadors of the country. And this story, the this. A uh, speech tells us the real incident and the uh, violence that Sri Lankan experienced and um, the cricketers experienced in Sri Lanka, in uh, Pakistan. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Abra, for your speech. Next, next, I would like to invite Tamlin Ban to present on her on his topic. Good evening, all of you. Today, I am going to speak about the eagle by Alfred Tennyson. Alfred Tennyson was. English poet. He was the poet lecturer during much of the Queen Victorian region. The eagle is a powerful poem that captures the majesty and strength of majestic bird in spring, led readers to reach for the highest of their own botanical. Tennyson used a number of Poetic technique within the eagle, these include elitarian, casual, and personification. Personification is a literary device that refers to the projection of human characteristics onto inanimate objects.